Okay, so question number one. So S is the universal set with the numbers one through 25. Um, there's set A, set B, set C. They want us to list the elements in A, union B, union C. So how am I gonna do that? What does that mean? A union B union C. I'm going to put it right here. So what's the union mean? Isn't it the numbers that they all have in common? So the um if we did it this way that that'll be this next part so this part right here will be what they have in common element i'll write out the, the next part will be the elements in common would you combine all of them a b and all three right yeah so yeah right yeah so this one you're right this one here is unite or combine, right? Unite the elements in A or B or C, right? We're going to unite them all together. Yeah, so the first part is we're going to unite them all together. So how do you do that? Well, I would just take all of A first off and just write it down. Two, six, eight. 14, 15, 19, 20, 23. And then I would switch to the next one, B. And I would start writing down B, but careful not to repeat, right? We never repeat the same number, same element twice in a set, right? You never do that. So we got one, four. I'm just going down this one, four. And that's not repeating yet. Six, now six is a repeat. See how six is right there and there? So I'm not gonna list six again. Eight is also a repeat. Nine. And oh, 19 is a repeat. Yeah, so those three are repeats, so I'm not gonna list them again. Already got them. Finally, the uh, third set, let's go with C. So one, that's a repeat there. Don't need to list it. Three is new. So I'm gonna underline it, cross it out, whatever. Six is next. Six is a repeat in all three. Don't need to list six. Seven, that's new, I think, yeah. Uh, 10, that's new. Yeah. 13, that's new. 15, oh, that's a repeat, 15. 15, don't need to list that. 16, that's new. 19, that's a repeat up here. Oh, and all three, huh? uh, don't need to list that. And then 21 is new. So there we go. So yeah, you just unite them all together. Just put them all together into one big set. Right on. But don't, don't list any repeats. Don't list any elements twice. So now on the second part, yeah, we're going to just do what's in common to all three. That's what the overlap means, right? It's overlap or intersection. So what's, what's in, in the overlap of all three? So um, let's go back. How do we do that? Well, I think we've kind of already seen it, but just, just to be clear. Let's just, I'm just gonna go down A and say, okay, how about, how about two? Is that in the other two sets? No, how about six? Yeah, there it is. Six is in the overlap, <clears throat> right? It's in common to all three sets. And eight, no, eight's in two of them, but not the third one. 14, no, 15, no, 19, yes, all three. 19's in all three, 20, no, 23, no, there we go. I don't even need to check anything else. That makes sense. 
if I've checked all of A, I'm done because if because it's got to be in all three. So which means it would have to be an A. So if I'm done checking A, I'm done. So the only things in common to the overlap are six and 19. And so there we go on that one.